Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw. I'm here with Chris Theophilides, who is CEO of Celestial Cruises from Greece, and we're here to talk about what's going on with Celestial. Now, I've been lucky enough to be on Celestial a number of times. It's a marvelous product. You can see more of Greece than you'll ever see with a lot of other lines, but we're going to find out all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Chris, first of all, uh, let's talk about what your new itineraries are because you are doing a lot of interesting things uh, with destinations in the Eastern Med. That's right. First of all, thanks, James, for having us on Insider Travel Report. Uh, we're known to be uh, to have a regional focus mm -hmm. in the East Med and more so on the Greece, uh, the Greek islands, and uh, some of the Southwest Turkey. Um, what we're doing now is expanding our footprint in the region uh, with the introduction of some exciting new itineraries and also pushing uh, our seasonal operation into a year-round mode over the, the Which next Which is interesting because most people think of Greece as being in the summers and that's where you're going to go, but you actually can go throughout the year. Yes, you can, and actually uh, conditions are much more favorable. Both uh, you know, the sea conditions, uh, temperatures are, 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 are more mild and uh, more pleasant, and the destinations themselves have more to offer during the off-season in the sense that it's less crowded and you can enjoy the destinations to yourself. Let's talk about some of the specific I itineraries that you've put in recently and ones that in the last few months. Sure, sure. We've announced uh, six months ago now the launch of two exciting itineraries. One is the uh, eclectic itinerary, and we're going to be the first line going back to Istanbul in November of this year. Which is amazing. I can't believe everybody's waited so long, uh, and it's really such a loss over the past year, but you're going to be the first ones back. That's right. We've never stopped visiting Turkey. We've been visiting and uh, to, to visit the ancient site of Ephesus uh, throughout, uh, and, and we know uh, that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a time to go back to Istanbul now. Uh, we're in the region, we know what, what we see what's going on, and uh, now is the time to go back. So it doesn't surprise me that we're the first mover going there. But we've also taken the opportunity, since we're going further up north now in the Aegean and uh, towards Istanbul, to add some you know, new destinations uh, and, and, and add some exciting uh, uh, places to visit. Amongst them is Kanakale in Turkey, which you, is, the, is a gateway to ancient Troy and Gallipoli, which, which is exciting. And also Volos in, in Greece, which is the gateway to Matera Mountains with the hanging monasteries. Uh, and oh, so I've seen the pictures. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. You have to go and see it. It's, it's, it's amazing. You, you can't do it justice by explaining it. You need to go and, and visit. It. So it, we, we take the opportunity with this, with this uh, new itinerary, not only to bring in a huge marquee destination like Istanbul back into uh, our, our destinations, but also add a few new and exciting places to visit. The second itinerary that we announced uh, six months ago was uh, the three continents, and that brings Israel and Egypt back into Which the is fall. a marvelous cruise. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And, and uh, the, we're running that in December of this year for the first time. Uh, the response to both itineraries from our market has been, has been phenomenal. So we're really excited about that, and it's just helping us get to that year-round uh, point that we want to do from a strategic point of view. Uh, again, as with the eclectic itinerary, we took the opportunity with three continents to add marquee destinations that have been off the map and also sprinkle in some lesser known destinations like Cyprus that have things to offer. So we're, we're, we're excited about showcasing the region to our guests from abroad. Well, and, the, and as I've, we learned here at Sea Trade, a lot of people saying the Eastern Med is back fully. Greece is doing amazing now. Uh, so, you know, when I was there a few years ago, things were a little tough. Yeah. And now we are definitely back, and you are really leading the way and, and I say if you want to see the Greek islands the best way to do is with Celestia you go to so many different islands in one cruise. That's the, you know, thanks for that and we agree with that in the sense that you know we're a home port operator out of Greece so we don't spend time getting to the islands we're almost in the islands mm -hmm. and that allows us to visit as many places in a short period of time as, as possible whereas if, y if your cruise starts from further away you need time to get to the destinations and time to get back to your home port. That, that's not the case with us. We're right next to the, the destinations already. Now, right now you're still operating two ships, and I've been on Celestial Crystal a number of times, never on the Olympia, but mm -hmm. uh, you, you really renovate those ships all the time, and I, I really, they, and the crew, the service is fantastic. Well, yes, we do, we do take care of our ships. Uh, we, uh, on the back of a very big investment on the Olympia, doing all the, all the cabins uh, from scratch, we have just now completed the full renovation of all the suites on the Crystal. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is part of our focus on more and more seven-day product, and we want to you know, make sure you know, the, the, the hardware is, is where we want it to be. And so we continue investing. We feel our ships are, are very well kept, and we will continue to do that as we go along.
Well, it, they are amazing. I, you know, it's an, it is a, a classic ship, an older ship, but you keep on uh, revamping it. And, and the crew, as I said, the, the real thing, your star is your crew. I mean, your crew is amazing. It's, it's easier to pull that off on a midsize ship, and we're clearly a midsize ship company, and, uh, and that, that, you know, that means that the product is such that there's the more personalized service, even in a mainstream product as ours is, as a contemporary product, but the size of the ship also allows us to get into destinations that you know, might be more challenging for, for larger ships. Uh, you know, this is why we're, we're uh, excited to, uh, to add more and more of these destinations uh, that are, are more difficult for, for the larger ships to, to, to get into. And that's a differentiator for us. Now, another great piece uh, of exciting news that we have, uh, annou we're announcing today actually, is the fact that in addition to those two new exciting itineraries that we're running in 2019, we're announcing a third new seven-day itinerary uh, for 2020, and that's um, in the Adriatic. So we're also uh, visiting the west side of Greece now. Uh, yeah, that's going out of Venice, I understand. Right? That's going out of Venice, and we'll touch up on, in, in Corfu in Greece, uh, and we'll touch up upon in Patras in Greece. And Patras is a great gateway to a host of, of uh, very interesting places. Uh, and it will also be visiting uh, uh, Adriatic, uh, Kotor, Split, and, uh, and Dubrovnik. The differentiator again, though, is that we're visiting these places in the shoulder months. So it's, it's, it's yeah, well, we know Dubrovnik, which is yeah. lovely, but in, in the high season, it gets a little crowded. By design, we're visiting when it's not high season. The, 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 uh, the conditions, the weather conditions and the sea conditions are excellent, but there's not that many people in the destinations when we visit. And so it's, it's all part of the fact that you know, we, we can design around uh, when it's the optimal time to visit these different places. And th that's, that's played a, a key role in, in the design of our, our itinerary. Well, uh, we go out to about 90,000 travel advisors. Uh, any advice to them about how to best work with you? Well, sure. We're, we're really investing in, in, in uh, providing support to travel partners. We have a huge team now in North America by our standards. So we have uh, four BDMs. We have a uh, call center in North America. We have uh, inside sales support, uh, all headed up by a, a VP of sales, Gordon Durker. I believe you met, you met Gordon uh, recently. I know Gordon. Uh, and, he, and he reports into our chief commercial officer, uh, Leslie Peden, who's also in Florida. He has a global uh, remit, but you know he's, he's based in Florida. So there's a lot of support for the travel community uh, and actually I think when when they get a chance to see our product and the all-inclusiveness of the product and how easy it is to sell and when they realize it's award-winning through Cruise Critic uh, you know it's it's I think they'll be very excited to be working with us well Chris thank you for taking the time there's a lot going on with Celestial yep. oh, you got me I'm a convert I, I love the cruises I've been on with Celestial they really are super and uh, wherever you go uh, congratulations on all the itineraries making uh, Celestial a yep. clearly cruise line and uh, we'll look forward to more to come thank you James and look forward to talking to you in the future and talking about the next exciting the plans next, I'm sure tomorrow uh, in a few months and uh, next yeah. year you'll have even more when we, yep, when we yep. see each other thank you very much thank you I'm uh, James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report <laughs>